Hello, I'm Tom Cherims with the FujiNet Project, and I'm going to make a quick video here showing how to quickly start up with your Apple II FujiNet. When you receive your device, uh, it will have a number of predefined host slots on it. I went ahead and just wiped this device completely, so it'll be completely blank, so I can show the process of setting this up. To set up, all we really need to do is connect the FujiNet to your smart port. And optionally, if you want the FujiNet to stay on when your Apple II is off, plug it up to a USB power source via its USB port. Once this is done, you can boot your Apple II. The FujiNet will take over and boot into config. Currently, right now, we show a list of smart port devices, which you can see since this is a 2C plus, we have disk 3.5, but we also have the four FujiNet disk devices, CPM device, a FujiNet real-time clock, the network adapter, and a printer. We'll press any key to continue, and we immediately launch into the network configuration screen. The simplest, if you already have an SSID that is broadcast, you can select your SSID, your wireless network, press return, enter in your password. And if for some reason it comes back and rescans again, such as you enter your password incorrectly, no problem, you can hit R to rescan. Select again. And when the network is successfully configured, oop, I think I know why, my caps lock was pushed down. We can read this again. Once the network is successfully found, you will see the Wi-Fi light turn on on the FujiNet and be presented with the host list and drive slots. Host lists specify hosts where you can load disk images from. One of those slots can be the local SD card slot, which we did. We edited, put it in there, and I'll go ahead and edit and put one in for... Don't want that in lowercase. We'll go ahead and add one for apps as well. We'll select it by pressing the return key, go to the Apple II folder, go to the games folder, select total replay, press return to select it. And you'll see down at the bottom, it says select slot that you want to put it into. You can press return to insert this read only. And for public images, this is the best option. It allows other people to read the disk image as well. Press return, and then you can hit the escape key to boot. Also, if you want to see where you put your food, where the FujiNet put itself in your network, you can press the C key for the config. You can hit set escape to boot, and it will boot into your software. Especially since this is uh, the first slot and the first available online smart port device. There you go. So, until next time, guys. Have fun.